Well, Norwood has declared its hand to its members on the reserves debate. The Red Legs say the Crows and Power reserves teams would ruin the SANFL's league competition if they were allowed to join, and that they shouldn't be admitted without the unanimous, unanimous support of the other eight clubs. 28 premierships makes Norwood one of the most successful clubs in Australian football. We've got the biggest crowds, we've got the most members of all the clubs. So we aren't going to let that go easy. Redlegs members met with club officials last night to voice their concerns. I don't believe the um, story that's out there about it'll increase the crowds. I don't believe Crows and Port supporters will go and watch their SNFL sides. When you look at the resources that are going to be available for the AFL clubs compared with the SNFL clubs, um, you know, you can't make the comparison. And they found their president, Joe Tripodi, just as baffled most SNFL clubs are poised to side with the Crows and Power. I think if we take them in, we might have to play in the parklands. Because they'll ruin our competition. The Crows say they don't want to enter the SNFL without the support of all the clubs. That's something Tripodi wants them to honour. Six get it over the line. I believe it should be a 100% vote. I think in this sort of situation it should be eight say yes unanimous. or no. It should be no. unanimous, but it's not. I should have said it. And then we know we're all on, on board. But Nord will be helpless to thwart the move unless it finds another two local allies. Dion Heyman, Nine News.